Hi, it's Kathy, and I felt like drawing Boa or Dribble 3, so that's what I drew. Or that's who I drew. Um, the neck and the head were not agreeing with me at first. It was like, the neck should be bigger. No, it should be smaller. The head should be um, here, no, a little more back. The horns, as all standard horns, were weird. <laughs> I was really struggling with where to put the extra tiny horn on the face because in the official art it's below the ears I think but I couldn't figure out a way to put them below the ears so I just put the ears sort of overlapping with the extra horn thingy. I found some pictures of or well, drawings of sand wings with the flappy crest, um, a little like ripped and with separate parts and I'm like oh that looks cool and I usually draw the whole crest with like all together but I wanted to try it because it looked cool. Um, yeah. I also decided to curve the crest in a little at the bottom of the drawing since I sort of pictured Jerboa here twisting a little. Um, yeah. I used a brush that had line weight uh, and I didn't pick like a very black color, it's more like a grayish brown. I also made the line art thinner. Like, generally, because some parts of it are thicker, but thinner than I normally make my line art. Um, yeah. I made the scales that you could see the most to the right pop out a little more because, you know, scales aren't perfect. They're gonna pop out a little, they're not, like, they're overlapping. They're not, like, right beside each other. Um, yeah. I think I should have put a little more detail in the crest. Or like, you'll see what I mean when I start coloring, but I don't know. At first I was having a sort of hard time picking which color to do for her base, and then which one to do for the underscales, because I didn't want it to be too yellow or too orangey or too light that it looks white. It, I was just very picky about the color. And then after a while, she just started looking gray, like a little too gray, so I put um, like a full yellow layer on top of her and then I lowered the opacity so she wouldn't look as gray. I didn't show that in the footage. I did cut a lot of um, the recording because it, it was very long. My shading here was a little more messy than usual. I just, I didn't feel like for this image it had to be as strict as I usually make it. I also didn't change the size of the fade brush when I was, um, bleh, when I was shading. I just really like how she turned out and 
yeah I don't usually like drawing sandlings so although they're one of the tribes that I most that I draw the most often I just the, the pointy part of the face always confuses me and I always forget about the like plain black eyes and the crest always turns out looking weird but I feel like Jaboa turned out pretty good um, now I think you see what I mean when I say oh I should have put a little more detail in the in the crest thing I put some highlights in the eyes so she wouldn't look as soulless and that was it um, yeah Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.